Today, I'm actually talking about tattoos and tribal marks. It's one of the forms of body modification that is invoked now. The Lord is against body modification. Christian women, men of God, children of God, the Lord is against body modification. Tattoos and tribal marks have its origin in Satanism. The Lord God Almighty is against it. Even the scriptures in Leviticus chapter 19 verse 28 says, Do not cut your bodies for the dead or put tattoo marks on yourselves. I am the Lord. So many countries have used tattoos for one reason or the other. Africans have their reasons for wearing tattoos. We are going to take a tour around different countries, different cities, and see the reasons why people wear tattoos. Is it really, really, really necessary? All of these reasons and excuses why people wear tattoos, are they acceptable to God? I discovered that the ancient Greeks used tattoo for communication among spies and showed their ranks. The ancient Greek and even the ancient Roman marked their criminals and slaves for easier identification if they escape. This implies that tattoos are not actually meant for the free. Tattoos are meant for the slaves. So ask yourself, are you a slave? The Japanese were using tattoos for ceremonial rites. The Chinese were using tattoos to ward off evil spirits by invoking gods and to appease different gods. Native Americans tattooed themselves and their captives. The Middle East Babylonians and Canaanites and Hebrew shrine prostitutes tattooed themselves as part of their worship. You see, the prostitutes in 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 Mid East, in Bab in Babylon, in Canaan land, and in and in, in, in Hebrew, they tattooed themselves. They tattooed themselves as a sign or as part of their worship to their gods. Baal worshippers wore tattoos on their hands to gain power from Baal. That is to tell you that tattoo is, is it has its origin in Satanism. It's for the devil. It's not for God. It's not for children of God. And that was why the Lord warned us, warned us against it. He warned the Israelites against it. In India, the prostitutes in India tattooed themselves to look like the various gods they worshipped. They drew their gods. They, they tattooed their bodies so that they can look like the lesser god. So that they can look like the god which they worship. Africans tattooed their bodies. In a native way called sacrification. Scarification is the same thing as what we know as tribal marks. Tribal marks involves cutting the skin with a sharp instrument and then rubbing it with ashes or caustic plant juices or charcoal 
or gum powder so as to form permanent blisters. These blisters at the end of the day turn to scars. Tattoos and scarification, tattoos and tribal marks involve cutting the body, it involves letting of blood and body modification. All of these acts are associated with pagan worship and witchcraft. You cannot belong to any secret society without cutting your body, without letting the blood. So that is to tell you that tattoo, wearing tattoo and putting tribal marks has something to do with the devil. It has something, it is associated to witchcraft. It is associated, associated to cultism. It is associated to membership with secret cult or secret society. I want you to understand that tattoo is satanic. It has its origin from the marine kingdom. If you don't know these facts, know now. The satanic kingdom is a real kingdom. Is as real as the physical earth. The same way we have countries, cities and towns, remote areas in physical world. That is the same way we have it in the marine kingdom. The inhabitants of the satanic kingdom come to the physical world for assignments. They also come to transact business in order to pollute man and separate man from God. These agents wear tattoos for identification and recognition so as to identify the country, the location, and the rank they belong in the satanic kingdom. This is what human beings saw and they coveted it ignorantly and incorporated it as modern fashion which is not supposed to be see what covetousness is leading man to tattoo is not of god tattoo has its origin in in in, in satanic satanism one thing you must know, the facts you must know about tattoo is that tattoo is an act of rebellion. Tattoo is a mark of rebellion. The moment that mark is on you, the moment the tribal mark is on you, the moment you are wearing uh, tattoo, that is, is the mark that shows that you are a rebellious child. You are a rebellious Christian. You don't know what your scripture says. Or perhaps you know, but you don't have understanding. The devil has clouded your mind with fashion. You think it's fashion, but you don't know that it is a mark of rebellion. You don't know that it is identifying you to a society. You don't know that it has actually removed the mark of God from your life. These are the implications of tattoos, which I want you to understand today. So many people wear tattoos, they think it is for fashion. So many people are still giving their children tribal marks. They think it's for identification of tribe, or country, or state, or location. Some people wear tribal marks. Some people put on tattoos to showcase their status. This message will actually give you better understanding on what the devil, on what Jezebel is using tattoos for. Tattoo identifies you with the devil. The tattoo you wear is an identification with a ring in the satanic kingdom. Understand that the devil gave his agents tattoos, identification, so as to identify them, so as to identify their, their, their rank, 
their 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 states the location where they are from in the marine kingdom the family which they belong in the in the in, in the marine kingdom just as you have your name and your surname you have the way you look that is the way the devil has it in the satanic kingdom too when you are a child of god god gives you his image and he, is, he, he inscribes his mark on you so wherever you go you see that mark that mark is on you is the mark of our lord and savior jesus christ is the mark of his blood is the mark that makes no one even the devil to trouble you it is the mark of the lord jesus the same way the Lord Jesus puts his mark on you. That is the same way the devil puts his own mark on his children. And the, the, the mark that the devil is putting on his children is the tattoo. He gives them that tattoo as an identification. He uses that tattoo to identify the family which they belong, to identify their rank in the marine kingdom, in the satanic kingdom. I have told you earlier that these agents come to planet Earth to transact business. When human beings, when children of God, Christians, when they saw all those marks on those agents, they coveted them. The devil made it appear beautiful to them. The devil made it appear fashionable to them. Rather than, the, than, than being irritated over it, they became covetous of it. They coveted that demonic beauty. They coveted that demonic mark. And listen, the moment you, any tattoo you, you, you actually place on your body identifies you with the devil. It is a, is a mark of identification with a realm in the demonic kingdom. Another thing I want you to know is that that mark is the mark that, that cleans off the mark of God from your body. Because as a child of God, in Galatians chapter 6 verse 17, we are, we are told that the mark of our Lord Jesus Christ is upon us. Galatians chapter 6 verse 17 says, Henceforth, let no man trouble me, for I bear in my body the mark of the Lord Jesus. The moment you are born again, you have the mark of the Lord Jesus on you. It is the mark of touch not. Tattoo marks you for the devil. And you know, there is no way there can be two marks on your body. If the blood of Jesus, the mark of the Lord Jesus, identifies you with the Lord, identifies you with Christ, and tattoo identifies you with the devil. Matthew chapter 6 verse 24 says, No man can serve two masters. For either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve God and mammon. My dear, you cannot serve the devil and serve Jesus at the same time. You cannot be the child of the devil and still claim to be the child of God at the same time. It's not possible. You cannot covet the, the mark of the devil and expect that the mark of the Lord Jesus Christ will still be on you. It's not possible. Light and darkness can never stay together. So the implication of wearing that tattoo on your body is that you are exposed to the devil. You, it has cleaned off the mark of God from you. The mark of touch not. It has been erased from you. So the devil can launch attack on you. The devil can ride on you. The devil can shit on you. The devil can do anything with your life. Because you are his property. That mark has actually identified you with the devil. It is a mark of affliction. Tattoo is a mark of affliction. Bearing or wearing a tribal mark or tattoo identifies you with the marine kingdom it opens the door for the devil to afflict you and to oppress you 
The spirit behind tattoo is the spirit of the devil. So you are controlled by the spirit of the tattoo you are wearing. It opens the door for demons to possess your life. Assess they will, when they possess your life, they will assess your dream life. They will, ass, they will have access to your spirit. They will have access to your soul. They will even have access to your body. They will pollute you in your dream. You are polluted. You are bearing the mark of the devil. There is no way you can be associated with Christ. The mark of the devil. The tattoo is a mark of slavery. Re go back. Just take your mind back to when we were trying to, to, to talk about, you know, taking a tour around the countries that have actually used tattoo. You know, the countries, the reasons why countries use tattoo. You discover that the ancient Greek, ancient Roman, even the Native Americans, used tattoos to mark their slaves and their captives for identification should they escape so it is a mark of slavery then who are you a slave to you are a slave to the devil devil is now your master because you are bearing his mark so ignorantly you will perform his assignments for him you are now an ignorant agent, unknowingly to you. By the reason of that tattoo you are wearing, you have become a principal agent for the devil. He uses you, he, the, same, the, 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 the same assignment he is giving to his agent. He gives it to you and you perform, you perform it perfectly, unknown, unknowingly to you. Don't you know that, that the tattoo you are wearing on your body has actually given the devil an open door to install some applications, to install some gadgets, to install some demonic gadgets, demonic applications that will actually work for him in your life? That is what that back is doing. The tattoo, when you go, when you, when, when, when you go to, the, to the tattoo artist, and they are using different kinds of, of uh, 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 machines when they are using the, the laser machine on you. Don't you know that they are spiritually, the laser machine is actually opening door. The laser machine is giving access for the devil into your life, into your spirit, into your soul, into your body. Your blood, everything about you is controlled by the devil. The tattoo is a mark of initiation. Anytime you are, you, you are wearing a tattoo, anytime you are actually, you know, inscribing a tattoo on your body or you are making tribal marks on your body, there is no way they will do it and it, they will not cut your body. There is no way they will do it and they will not, they, they will not let blood out. Even though they are using modern technology now, to inscribe tattoo don't you know that that machine that laser beam has a covenant with the devil tattoo makes you a candidate of the devil's society you become possessed by evil spirits for self-destruction and for destruction of others no wonder when you misbehave when you talk anyhow, when you do things that you don't have, you know, you try to look for answers for them. You ask yourself, why have I done this? And you can't find the answer. It's because of the tattoo on your body. That tattoo on your body is what is working on you for self-destruction and is making you to also destroy others. It is a mark of dedication and consecration to the devil. The use of tattoo makes you a property of, of the devil. It makes you a property of evil spirits. It is a mark of covenant. Wearing tattoo implies that you have covenant with the devil. You, ha you, you have covenant with the devil. Letting the blood, cutting and letting the blood from the body. 
is associated with witchcraft and satanic covenants. The use of tattoo establishes a, a you know, it establishes and it signs a blood covenant. You are signing a covenant with the devil to worship him for the rest of your life. You are, you are signing it with your blood. You know, the covenant that we have as children of God with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is the blood of Jesus. Now, you cannot use the blood of Jesus to sign another covenant with the devil. So, you have to use your blood. And that is the reason why when you are wearing tattoo on your body, they have to cut it and let blood out. That is why when you are you, inscribing tribal marks, that is the reason why they have to cut your body and let blood out. Because you, you, you are signing a covenant with the devil. You are establishing a covenant and signing a covenant with the devil with your blood. You can never use the blood of Jesus Christ to do that. One thing you don't even know is that tattoo, you know, when, when you are actually using tattoo, you are, you are at a high risk of having health challenges. You know, health challenges. Some of the dyes, some of the dyes they use and some of these instruments that they use, they are very, very dangerous and harmful to the skin, harmful to the health. So you have a higher risk of having cancer. Cancer, HIV, you have a higher risk of having all those health challenges. Why don't you preserve your life? Why don't you love your life? Why don't you love yourself and desist from wearing tattoo? Somebody is listening to this message right now. You are just about going to, to inscribe tattoo on your body. Listen, you are at a higher risk of contacting cancer. With what I have explained so far, the implications of wearing tattoo you have the god has a, a bright a bright destiny for you don't waste your destiny in the hands of the devil don't let the devil possess you and take control of your life through tattoos another thing you must know is that you you when you are wearing tattoo on your body you are doomed for life you are doomed for life. You, you cannot have eternal life. Eternal damnation awaits you. Hellfire awaits you. Anyone putting tattoo is under the anger of God. Because God has given his commandment already. In the book of Leviticus chapter 19 verse 28. It is God's law. Do not cut your bodies for the dead. Or put tattoo marks on yourself. I am the Lord. See, it is written there. Do not put tattoo marks. Now, this one you cannot argue with. At least you can read. And you can see it yourself. It is written black and white. You can see it. T -A -T -T -O. It is there. Tattoo is written explicitly in the scriptures so what tells i what, what why are you so rebellious you are under the anger of god if you are wearing tattoo or you are planning to wear tattoo you are under the anger of god anyone that destroys the temple of god the law shall destroy the person if the person does not repent the person becomes a candidate of hell. The Bible makes us understand that our body is the is the is the is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Our body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Do not permit anything that would defile your body. Do not permit it. When God created you. There are some people that have birthmark. There are some people that have birthmark from birth. That is a different thing. 
God is the one that placed that mark on you. He knows the meaning of that mark. That mark has a meaning. Most people have birth mark. Some people's own are visible. While some people are very, very tiny. Some are not so visible or discoverable. But most people have birth mark. That birth mark you are having is from God. It has a meaning to God. The moment you, you wear any other mark on your body, you put on tribal mark, you, put, you, you are wearing tattoo, it implies that you have associated yourself with the devil. You have rebelled against the almighty God. And you are liable to destruction if you don't repent. Because that is the temple of God. So, you need to repent. You need, you, you need to embark on a turning point now, my brother and my sister. You need to repent genuinely from your heart. So, my dear sister, my dear brother, children of God, this is the turning point. You need to confess your sins to God. Confess your sins and repent. Repent from that sin of rebellion because the act of wearing tattoo, tribal marks, is the act of disobedience to the Almighty God. So you need to repent. You need to confess your sins. Ask that the blood of Jesus will cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Second Corinthians chapter 5, from verse 17 to 21 says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things are now new. You have identified that putting on tattoos, wearing tribal marks, and all forms of body modification is actually an act of rebellion against the Almighty God. So the only thing you need to do now is to confess your sins. Your times of ignorance have actually been overlooked by the Almighty God. So you need to confess your sins and ask that the blood of Jesus Christ will wash away that mark from you. Ask that the Lord will inscribe his own mark on you. Because the appearance of that tattoo will naturally not allow the mark of God to be on you. But now that you have repented, now that you have come to understand that wearing tattoos, wearing tribal marks is not of God, and you have confessed your sins, your times of ignorance has actually been overlooked. The Lord has actually pardoned you. So the only thing you need to do is ask that the Lord will wash you clean with the blood of Jesus. Break every covenant, every blood covenant, Whatever initiation that the, the tattoo has actually placed upon your life. Whatever uh, satanic society you have identified yourself with. Whatever kingdom you have identified yourself with. Tell the Lord to break all those covenants with the blood of Jesus. Now go for serious deliverance. Is either you go for deliverance or you sit down at home or you go to to a very good church let them pray for you take some deliverance prayers and pray so as to break all those covenants the covenant of the devil the covenant of jezebel the blood of jesus christ will wash you clean that the blood of jesus christ will sanctify you and the blood of jesus christ will be your mark of separation it will separate you from all those demonic kingdoms those secret societies, and those magical powers that you have actually identified yourself with. The Lord help you as you embark on this journey of repentance, conversion, regeneration, and reconciliation with God. May the Lord preserve you and let the blood of Jesus Christ wash you away from all impurities. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I remain your sister, Olubumi Ibalayemi. Till I come your way again, guard your heart with all diligence, out of it flows the issues of life.